going to try recording this again because the last attempt went pretty poorly for one reason or another. Anyway, this is the ghost house that we left off on last time. Uh, put a curse on you, blah, blah, we read that last time. It just talks about not being able to use the spin jump anymore, which I haven't really been using all hack anyway. It would be pretty smart to use it, but oftentimes I don't really use it a whole lot unless I'm trying to like speed run through something in which case I usually end up getting hurt anyway so it's not really all that helpful for me when I'm pretty impatient when it comes to games and stuff which is odd because usually I'm pretty patient when it comes to stuff in real life situations I I guess because I'm so patient in real life or at least I try to be I consider myself pretty patient I guess because I'm so patient there that uh, I just don't really give a shit when it comes to game. like if I don't have to be patient then fuck it and in games more often than not I can kind of play sloppy for a little bit and uh, the only time I really have to be patient is when I keep failing and I'm like all right I need to slow up a little bit generally I'm overly patient with people and things because is this death that is most certainly death that is most certainly getting hit that's most certainly getting hit again if I could end up rewinding to a decent spot that would be that would be great. Like, generally, I'm pretty patient with most anything when it comes to real-life situations. I mean, it's something that I've developed over time, especially, I don't know, I, I guess since high school. Like, people were jackasses in high school, and I really had to have some patience to, uh, to deal with people because there was really nothing else I was going to do besides fuck. Uh, yeah, there was nothing else I was going to do in high school besides fuck, so, you know, I might as well be patient. Uh, I probably should have read this first. Uh, he he, our boss wants to chat with you, mustache guy. And he said to not tell you about bringing items through pipes. Oops, I am not quite sure what that's supposed to signify. Am I supposed to bring an item through pipe? Through a pipe, or... What the hell is this? Okay, I was about to say, this, this Starman music leaves much to be desired. It's... It's pretty lackluster, I'd have to say. There's a reset door in case you fuck that up. It, like, starts off all quiet and stuff. I was like, this better not be the entire Starman remix. Like, that's pretty terrible. Good, I need this, and I need to bring this through a pipe, I guess. So, that's great. But yeah, in high school, you know, people were dumb jackasses, and I couldn't do anything about it because I'd get my ass beaten faster than you can say anything about it. And, uh... After that, I worked at Target, and people are really stupid. Like, really mean and really stupid. Ah, so you are our special guest. Please allow us to make you more comfortable. It will not take long. Wahaha, Big Boo, yeah, right. Uh, did they change Big Boo in this hack? No, they did not. He looks fucking scary as shit, but he still does not hit you. For any- I never understood why this boss doesn't hit you at all. Like... Would it be too hard if he hit you? Like, for a regular Mario game? I don't know. He looks he looks terrifying, but he... No matter what, he doesn't hit you, so... Whatever. And he still takes... Oh, good! That was great. I'm gonna... Yep, I lost that power-up, too. Well, glad. I'm, I'm good. Uh, one of those stupid-ass boos came out from the left side of the screen and hit me before the level ended. I totally didn't want my feather or my backup feather, so that's good. I was really hoping that would happen. That is brilliant. Lakitu's domain. Oh, good. I like Lakitu as well. What a, what a fantastic set of levels we have so far. Thank God Fishing Boo wasn't in the last level. I think I would have cried myself to sleep. Uh, I'm sure I can, I can short jump this enough to make it. I know I can. I, there. See, that's all I wanted to do. That was it. I don't know how to get to. Well, I mean that's that's pretty easy actually. You just walk off that. That was a coin. Oh, <laughs> it was it was one coin. That's nice. Uh, but yeah, people people in retail, like, a lot of, well, not a lot of customers. It seems like a lot, but it might not be a lot. Some people are just impatient assholes, and you have to learn how to be patient with them. Otherwise, they will go for the good old tried and true, let me speak to your manager, young man. And then I go for the old tried and true, I wish I could tell you to go fuck yourself, but I really need this minimum wage job because I have bills to pay. And I'm not going to get a job anywhere else because the economy sucks and or I'm not qualified for anything else. So I guess I have to put up with your dumbass and I can't say shit. So that's how it usually went. 
So you gotta kind of have patience when dealing with that sort of thing. Otherwise, you're gonna get fired or someone's gonna get really mad at you. Uh, it's just dumb. And sometimes, no matter what patience you have, uh, some of those people will get really mad at you. It's like, yeah, I mean, I know you might have had a bad day and you're really grumpy or maybe you're just a mean person in general, but I worked this really... I was hoping that the shell would hit that, but apparently not. I worked this really shitty, menial, minimum wage job that no one seems to respect, even though it sucks a lot and it deserves respect. You know, like I always... Oh, God, I'm fucking losing power-ups all over the place. Like I always said, it's always funny when people say, like... You know, oh yeah, you know, maybe you should get a real job and, you know, people would respect you. It's like, well, I had a real job and no one respected me because, oh my god, an invisible coin. I should have known it was an invisible fucking coin block. It's always an invisible fucking coin block. But it's like, yeah, you just play video games on YouTube. Eh, no one's going to respect that. I don't respect you. You fucking suck. It's like, yeah, when I worked at Target, guess what they said? Oh, you work a minimum wage job. You work at fucking Target. You suck. I don't respect you. Get a job. Go to college. It's like, what the fuck do you think I'm trying to do, you asshat? I'm trying to do something better than work at Target and talk to assholes like you for the rest of my life. I'm trying, trust me. You only motivate me more to get the fuck out. And I did get the fuck out eventually, so that's good. But you still, you still need a lot of patience. I mean, I've had some people genuinely assume that I just have no patience because I have very little patience when it comes to video games but that's because I don't have to have patience here I don't have to sit here you know when it comes to doing stealth and running and gunning I'm gonna choose run and gun every time because I don't want to sit there in a dark corner for 13 minutes analyzing an enemy's patterns when I could just go fuck it I'm gonna shoot every asshole in this area and go that's my thought process behind it but Seamus, it's so rewarding when you stealth through an entire area. Well, that's great. I'm sure it's very rewarding. That's why there's a version, or there's, that's why... Oh, shit, one of these levels. That's why there's the option for you to use stealth. So if people like to use stealth, they can use it. That's fine and dandy, whatever floats your boat. But I am not you, and I am not going to play the game like you, because I'm not you. It all falls down to that, pretty much. So, if I don't have to have patience, then generally I forego having the need to use patience, like with stealth. Even in Hitman, well, the new one, it, it kind of lets you get away with running and gunning, but I'm sure I've ruined that game for many a person because I just said, fuck it, I'm just gonna gun everyone down, and I'm sure a lot of people were upset that I was ruining the Hitman series for them. I highly doubt I could do that with some of the older games, but... At least with that game, I was like, fuck it, I'm, psh, I'm not going to sit here for, you know, more than three seconds and try to think about this. I'm just going to run and gun and hope for the best. This is really kind of bullshit. I hate levels like this. All these stupid, like, fuzzy things and, like, having to jump at certain times. It's so difficult, you know? Having to predetermine one jump or premeditate one jump. It's it's really, it's, it's too hard for me, you know? It's just pff, one jump. I can't do it. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I when it comes to most stuff, I have patience, like, with waiting, with having to wait for stuff. Uh, just not for video games, because I am pretty sure I know the difference between real life and video games. And, you know, if I get really pissy with someone, because they're not moving fast enough, and I let them know that, well, that's kind of mean. I mean, I really can't hurt a video game's feelings by going, fuck you, I'm not gonna sit here and stealth it, I'm just gonna run and gun. Are we fine? Oh, good. Wow, that was a quick level. Hey, is this a secret? What is this? It's probably just for a star coin. More than, more than likely. Yeah, it's for, oh, good. I got a free life. That's nice. Okay, well, I guess they don't give me the option to go for any bonus stars. That's great, I guess. Whatever. But that's my little ditty on patience, I guess. Some people seem to assume that I have no patience when it comes to real life. I mean, it's not really safe to assume that what I do in a video game also translates to real life. I mean, I tend to take a little bit more time with stuff in real life because that tends to have more dire consequences. For example, if I'm at a street and I don't look both ways because I'm not patient, well, guess what? I might get hit by a fucking car and die. 
that's not exactly high on my list of things to do that day. Like, I don't wake up and go, you know what? I'd rather just get hit by a car today, I guess. No, I usually look both ways, and I'm like, okay, there's no car coming, I'm gonna be fine. But in a game like GTA V, fuck it, I'll cross the street without looking at all. If I get hit by a car, what's gonna happen? Half the time, I might not even die, I'm just gonna get hurt. It's like, okay, well, I'll just go eat some food then. whoop de doo Problem solved. Can't really do that in real life. Like, I'm a little bit more patient in real life. I don't, I don't know, like, what other things people... People probably assume that I'm just the same in real life as when I play a game, which uh, often is not true. I think that's why people think that I'm just really dumb, because I make dumb decisions in video games. Oh, that was... Uh, how did that hit me? Is it because I don't have enough space to jump up? Can, can I just not... Hey, you can spin jump... So if I hit the corner of it, it that's... A, I don't like that hitbox, whatever. I don't like that hitbox at all. That hitbox sucks. I was wondering, I was like, did I just not have enough room to actually jump up? Like, was I just hitting the thing too fast and it was counting as a hit? Oh good, the turtle came out of its shell. I forgot about that. That's my bad. But a lot of the stupid shit that I do in video games doesn't really translate into real life most of the time. Or at least I hope so. Well, at least some of the stuff that I do. I'm sure some of the stuff I do also translates well into real life. But not the whole patience factor. I don't... Oh, pfft, I just walked into that. That's what I'm talking about. Like, you know, if I saw a buzzsaw like that in real life, I'd be like, you know, I'm going to try my damned hardest to not run face first into this stupid thing. And Mario, I don't give a shit. Whatever. Oh, I lost a power up. Boo hoo. Oh, noes. Yell at me in the comments for it, please. If I saw that in real life, I'd be terrified. I wouldn't even be going under it. Oh, good. Thwimps. I love thwimps. I have to say, the design of this is getting a little bit more difficult as time goes on. Some of the jumps required and some of the timing is not getting that difficult, but a little bit more difficult, I guess you could say. Oh, no. Happy thwimp. <sighs> All right. Look, look, bro. It's that Mario guy. Bowser told us to play with. Let's just finish this already, really. Come on, don't be a spoil sport like that. We're gonna have some fun with him, heh <laughs> heh. Whatever, I'm not really in a good mood to play right now. These guys are sure strange, they sure are strange. Hey you Mario guy, I know what you're thinking. Don't even think that just because we're so much different, you can't work together to play. We can't work together, okay, they can't work together. Stop using the word play, that's annoying. Yeah, okay, here we go. Mario, they're able to summon obstacles when they touch the ground. Just wait until the right one comes. All right. Hum, okay. Let's go. Someone also told me that the uh, Duda de Darrow thing was supposed to be like... Oh, my God. Son of a bitch. Oh, this boss? Oh, this boss is just... I hate this boss. D please don't tell me. It's a turtle. Oh. How the fuck did I hit... Oh, my God. What is going on? I have no idea what's going on. These stu I hit the stupid, like, tiny spark thing, I guess, by accident. Oh, I hate this ball. At least it's not the bob -omb one. And I completely forgot what I Oh, the adu de -da -dare. Someone told me that's a rough onomatopoeia of the actual sound effect from, like, I guess getting a free life, maybe? I Oh, good, a buzzsaw. Oh, this boss is fancy. This boss has several tricks up its sleeve. Good thing we got out of that. I only died, like, twice. I guess it's supposed to be like a rough onomatopoeia of this of one of the sound effects from an earlier game. I had no idea. I never would have. I never would have connected that. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be or what. I don't know if that was the author of the hack who told me. I have no idea. I would have never have connected that. I still don't know. Anyway, this is a preview of the next level because I need to stop recording. I've been recording all day, and I feel like I kind of need to take a break. So here's a preview of the next level. It's a lot of platforms, and I just killed myself, so... It looks like a neat level. That should be... That should be one of the better levels that I've left off on, but... Thank you for watching today. It seemed to have just flown by, but I'm pretty sure I've been recording for a good at least 15 minutes or so. Somewhere around there, but... Yeah, when we come back, we'll do Night Lines, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoy the next one, and I will see you guys next time.